They promise quick cash if you promise to list your home with them. But several attorneys general from across the country say their business practices are deceptive and unfair. And now the daughters of a Clarkston man who recently passed away have a warning for everyone in our area. Seven investigator Heather Catalo has more. How do they sleep at night? Lisa Immerman wants everyone in Michigan to know about a company called MV Realty. We're going to fight this because I don't want this to happen to somebody else. Lisa's dad, Michael Sanford, died in January, devastating her family. The grief of le losing him is one thing to be dealing with, installing your childhood home, and then just all this legal stuff. Lisa and her sister Rebecca had to move quickly to sell his Clarkston house because he had very few assets to cover the cost of maintaining it. They also needed to minimize costs so they could honor his dying wish that his five grandchildren each inherit $1,000. We can't fulfill the terms of, you know, his last wishes without selling the house because there's no money. Lisa says a young couple made an offer on the home, but as they all worked to close the deal, the title company found a problem. MV Realty had filed a memorandum with the Oakland County Register of Deeds, creating something the county clerk says is legally viewed as a lien because of this contract. Lisa says her attorney sent a letter letting the Florida-based MV Realty know that Sanford had brain atrophy and dementia. Lisa says that means her dad was not competent when he apparently signed MV Realty's homeowner benefit program contract that gave him $800 as long as he gave MV Realty the exclusive right to sell his property. That agreement lasts for 40 years. And that's not all. Lisa says the agreement created a covenant with the land, binding Sanford's heirs to the contract. The only way they could sell the house was to pay MV Realty more than $8,200. I really think he didn't realize what he was signing at all. I think it just sounded like free money. They gave him $820. MV Realty's founder is Amanda Zachman. You may recognize her from the TV show Big Brother, where she used the last name Zuckerman. After the seven investigators contacted MV Realty, they changed course and canceled the contract so Lisa and her sister could sell the home. What kind of a human being would try to bind another human being to a contract like this? Um, this entire agreement is unconscionable. Attorney Corey Silverstein says there are several problems with these kinds of contracts. You're tying up the next generations of that family. This is just riddled with legal issues, moral issues. Stop preying on people. Oakland County Clerk and Register of Deeds Lisa Brown says there are legislators working to outlaw this in Michigan, but right now the filings are legal. It is viewed legally as a lien. I think the message is, you know, if somebody's offering you money really for nothing, um, question it. A spokesperson for Envy Realty issued this statement to us that says in part, we extend our deepest sympathies to Mr. Sanford's family as they navigate this heartbreaking time. As we do with any customer who has dementia, MV has voided Mr. Sanford's contract and any obligation of his heirs. While Lisa's family is grateful, the scrutiny on MV Realty is still underway. Attorneys general in Florida, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Massachusetts have all taken legal action against the company. The state of Utah has banned the practices used by MV Realty, and other states are trying to stop it as well. The seven investigators reached out to Michigan's Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs, or LARA. They say no enforcement actions have been taken against MV Realty at this time, but there are open complaints that are currently being investigated. How is this not predatory? Well, I don't think it's predatory because we're paying someone for something that they used to give away for free and they get exactly the same service. Jim Terlizzi is the director of the Future Listing Purchasers Association, a trade group that represents MV Realty and other similar companies who use these agreements. He maintains the deals only result in liens if you break the contract and says they welcome more oversight from states. We are supportive of uh, comprehensive legislation and regulation uh, across the board. But Lisa and her family say everyone should think carefully before signing one of these contracts. It makes me very angry that they do this to elderly and low income people. As an attorney, I looked at it and I thought, we got to stop them. 
The Oakland County Clerk says they've seen more than 100 of these filings from MV Realty in the county. Meanwhile, officials from the Macomb County Clerk's Office tell us they have stopped accepting these documents because they say they're concerned they appear predatory to consumers. The Attorney General has also received eight official complaints. They are keeping a close eye on this, and several clerks around the state have issued warnings to consumers to really be careful. Look at what you're signing because they're seeing an uptick in these documents. Wow, so you got things changed which is sure amazing. Did. They did change their mind after we talked to them. Yes. And of course, it's always in the fine print where you really get Very it. fine print. Well, 40 <laughs> years and he has dementia. That was... Mm. We're glad. We're glad it's resolved. Very. Yes, that was nice. Thanks, Heather.